Hey guys, it's Woody, and today I learned the Xbox One is going to have the same functionality that the PS4 will have, in that you can have someone else remotely play your game for you. I thought I'd talk about that, and how it works as a platform, and then a general idea of what a platform is all about in software. <laughs> So a platform is the hardware and the APIs, the application programming interfaces that make up the tools in the programmer's toolbox, if that makes any sense. With these things, with these you know, basic concepts, they can put together amazing stuff. So let's talk about the iPhone. When that first came out, Apple's version of the iPhone, in my opinion, pretty underwhelming, right? This thing was supposed to change the world. And what was it really? A phone and an iPad? like an mp3 player mixed into one where you could also check your mail and your calendar and and that was it so that was like apple's grand idea once they opened up their platform to the world of developers to the planet's creativity amazing stuff came we started getting stuff like angry birds we started getting stuff like shooters and racing games on your phone you started getting utility stuff apple didn't even think to use the flash as a flashlight to help you in a darkened parking lot. But when you take these basic tools and enable them for the world's creativity, then amazing stuff happens. There's Google Maps mashup apps that let you sort of hold it in front of you and spin around and get coupons for local businesses. You stand in the mall and you see what's around you and what's available and what's off and stuff like that. It's cool. There's no way in a million years Apple even thought to use the phone as a level to stick it on your picture as you make, you know, as you hang it in your house. But when you take these basic tools in the platform and let the programmers do whatever it is that programmers do, then you can get really, really cool stuff. So let's circle back to the Xbox and the PS4. They have this functionality now, it turns out in both of them, where you can take the controller and virtually hand it off to somebody else on the internet and they help you get past difficult sections of the game. All right, fine, I, I guess. I mean, like, I don't see myself using that very much. But to me, that stupid idea is the parallel idea of Apple saying, hey, how great would a phone be where you could also check your email? You know, how great would a phone be if it would also beep when your you know, meetings were coming up at work? You know, it, it's it's good you know and it was an improvement on what was out there before but it wasn't life-changing it wasn't amazing it wasn't crazy it it was just good you know like all right now there's youtube videos on my phone it wasn't until they took those apis look at this gift <laughs> it wasn't until they took those apis and let the programmers do their things with them that smartphones truly got smart so when Sony or Microsoft come out and say, look, we have this new functionality, aren't you excited? Someone else can play your character for you. You might be underwhelmed, but you're supposed to be because Sony and Microsoft aren't the creative centers of the planet. They're just the platform developers. It's once you take this new thing and hand it off to, everything else, to everybody else that the good stuff happens. And it's also important that it's on both consoles. And presumably you can do anything on a PC, so that's not really limited. But it's on both consoles. So before, like, if you were developing a great multi or multi-platform game, one that ran on both consoles, then you'd be stuck. And you'd say, all right, you know, if, if we enable this cool idea we have, it'll only run on the PS4. Now that the Xbox is scheduled to have it too, then they can take their great ideas and put it everywhere. I don't know what their great ideas are going to be. You know, I have hopes that it's going to enable some higher level of uh, teamwork that, that we haven't seen in games before. You know, I don't know exactly what this is going to be. I'm not the world's creative center either. But if it gives us a higher level of teamwork and makes it like Left 4 Dead, where everyone was sort of same team and it wasn't so darn griefy, then um, then that would be cool. You know, Call of Duty today is, is oftentimes six or nine lone wolves out there just playing. Whereas, um, you know, it, maybe if we start handing the controllers off and switching characters and doing cool stuff like that, then, um, then amazing stuff will come our way. So, so yeah, they're putting more tools in the developer's toolbox out there. And I'm not excited about what they're telling us they're going to be doing with it. I'm excited about what we haven't thought of what they're going to do with it. That's that's where the <laughs> that's where the the good stuff is. That that's the middle of the pie. If you enjoyed the video, drop a like. If you're new, subscribe in the top right. Here's two videos. Looks like both of them cover Xbox One news. So if that interests you, click on them. They open a new Windows, and you have a good day.
Thank you.